the most interesting introduction <laughs> I have ever experienced. <laughs> the best comedian ever. Now what? I was like, man, I appreciate you. He was, he was freestyling. Oh man, hi, um, how y'all doing? Hey. Yeah, y'all. Y'all look so interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm happy to see how we, I gotta put this on Instagram. Hold on, like before I, I'm having fun just looking at y'all. This is funny. Hold on. So if y'all, um, you guys want to show me how live you are, because it's gonna be on Instagram. Okay, well, I'm so uh, so I'm in this beautiful place called Chicago, and they came out. Look at them. Woo! Okay, okay, wait, wait, look at them. Woo! I can't put that. On. Oh, this is so bad. <laughs> woo! Even your faces look like woo. People wasn't saying woo and they was looking at other people say woo woo. <laughs> Are you saying woo? Woo? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm happy, baby. So I see some people smiling, but then in the audience, I see some Muslims. <sighs> I don't know, like, I was studying Prophet Muhammad, right? And he was known not to part anybody without a smile. So generally what that tells me is Muslims should be walking around like this all the time. <laughs> and people would be like, what's wrong with them? Oh, they're just Muslims. They're just <laughs> In the crowd, I see some people just look like, Oh, Allah. Why am I here, Allah? I just want to go to Jannah. Like, we're supposed to be smiling, man, just happy people, just, yay! Mm. Is the Arabs here? What? I did not think you were here. Salamu alaikum. That's so cool. I like that. Uh, any other black people? <laughs> No. Not a single, no, no, no. Not a single one of you. It's just me. I feel good. A token black guy. Yeah. Um, Sister Ann, are you representing a white family? Yes? Yeah. Ann, what's your name? Edwin. Star? Daria. 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 Oh, hello, Daria. Yeah, I see that. Hey, Daria, I like that. And the way she said it, Daria. I like that. So, just the only, only whites? Hey, we got... A Jeremy. A I knew that. Up, this is Psalm 17 tour, right? You're going nowhere without Jeremy. I look for Jeremy. Where's Jeremy? So it's four of us up against this brown. Look at the browns. This is a brown night. Let me see. Look, India's here. <laughs> is Pakistan here? Okay, India, listen. <laughs> listen to me, India. Relax. Yes. You have lost this one. <laughs> We've already taken the banner down for you. You guys just relax. <laughs> I found out, listen, Indian and black people, we got something in common. Like black people, we do this. We see another black person walking down the street. This is we. I don't know his name. I don't know what he do for a living. Anything. It's just we recognize the black. In India, this is communication. India, they have the same communication. They just do it a little different. You don't know if it's a yes or a no. I was like, I have to learn this. I only know the black one. <laughs> so I've been learning. So they were teaching me. I got a friend named Nadir Fun, right? He was teaching me. He said, listen, when you go to India and you want to meet your friend from the other village, there's a loud river in between. So you can't hear each other. What you would do is 
you would bump your eyes, stick your neck out like this, raise your hand and go, and that means, I'm so happy to see you. And then, if your Indian family is happy to see you too, he would close his eyes, he would pull his head back and raise his hand and say, and it means, I'm happy to see you too. gotta work together. We only have. You know what I listen. I found out something for myself. Like when I when my mother converted to Islam, I was five years old, right? And we were learning Islam from the Tablighi Jamaat. So usually when I say that people are like, mashallah. And you guys are like, <laughs> some people are like, are you okay? But I think no, I'm good, I'm good. So I'm learning, but here was the challenge. Here was the thing. We thought shalwar kameez was sunnah. <laughs> so can you imagine? We're the only Muslims in the neighborhood. There's this little black boy running around the neighborhood with a light blue shalwar kameez. <laughs> And the people were laughing. The other kids was like, <laughs> it's the black Aladdin. <laughs> I was like, oh. but the problem was, this was the problem. When they gave me my shavuar, I opened the package. <laughs> I knew they weren't mine. I was like, I can't get these shavuars. The shavuar is so big. I was like, man, I put it, I could fit like eight people in the shavuars. <laughs> I was like, look at this, and I'm a shower. They was like, no, no, you have to take this. It's called the Nara. <laughs> now you take the Nara and you put it in the shower. <laughs> First of all, it wasn't even enough, the slit in my shower wasn't big enough for me to even put the Nara in the shower. <laughs> So I had to rip the shower, just to stick the, sh the nara in the shower. Now, I'm just putting my nara in my shower. I'm still putting my nara in the shower. When I finished putting the nara in the shower, a true story, I pulled my nara, my shower, Close to my waist. I still have so much Nara left. I don't know what to do with all of this Nara. So I take my Nara and I tuck it in the waist of my shower. And I went outside and I was playing. And they looked and was like, he has a white tail. <laughs> Because my Nara came out of the bottom of my shower. And it looked like I was just a little black boy with a light blue shower kameez and a white tail. Woo! So because of that upbringing, <laughs> I come to the conclusion that I'm not only black, I am Blackistani. <laughs> yes. So it's so funny when I was watching the history because I was like, man, I got to get to know my roots. I was like, wait a minute, what is going on? I was studying and I said, oh my God, there was no Pakistan? What? I'm turning the pages. I was like, oh. No, I didn't know that. It was all India. Did y'all know that? <laughs> did you know? Did you know that? You didn't either, huh? You were like me. Hey. No. <laughs> Frankly, I don't care. <laughs> but I was shocked, and I was like, Oh my goodness! It was just one place called India, and then somebody came and split them up. <laughs> Gore. <laughs> Glory, glory, 
just, you know, sure, no. <laughs> right? They split them up. But look at the mercy. Now the mercy is, you know, I mean, wow, it's, it's amazing. But this is what I want y'all to do. Like now, I realized something else that you guys got in common with black folk. You guys got a lot of soul. You know that? So just like, yeah, we got soul. Because I was listening to the song and the guy was like, Two Jedicas, <laughs> And I was like, ooh. I felt that. I turned around like I was walking, I heard, Two Jedicas. <laughs> and then he did it faster. Two Jedicas, Two Jedicas, Two Jedicas, Two that's the only way I can do it. <laughs> and then they get all they get all real really cool cool with it. Oh my 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 oh for all of your weddings, <laughs> the first blackest thing, I'm going to come and perform on my sing. Janam, 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 sa tu chalna yi. Kasam tu hai, kasam ma ke milna yi. Ek jan hai bale du badan ho juda. Mere ho ka me shahira hira ka dina ka hira. Because you guys, you guys have Shadow Khan, huh? but now you have Shadow Kala. Yeah. I'm gonna do my hands. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Something else I learned about Indian men and Pakistani men: you guys are very romantic. <laughs> Even the sister said, no. <laughs> that, that's not the even the sister. You see the face. Vin. Vin is their romance. I know, I was looking because I was watching the Bollywood and the guy was like, To me, John Ho. We is Indigo Ho. Who says Shari I was like, yes, yeah, say yes. I was so touched. <laughs> And now you guys are looking at me. This group right here, look at all of you. <laughs> Somebody in this group is looking at me like, Dalme kuch kala hai. Sari dal kala hai. Yeah. Thik hai, thik hai. I don't know. <laughs> Listen, my arm's feeling left out. How <laughs> big? I'm sorry. I was like, what's happening? It's a black standing night. You know? <laughs> mm, I love my auto family too, man. My auto, they're, you guys are amazing. They have a unique, uh, a gift also, I believe. This gift, I like to call it bromance. It's it. Because like, you know, like I tell I'm born and raised in Detroit. And you know how, you ever seen black people greet each other? You can be honest, it's just me here. <laughs> All right, we always do that extra <clears throat> strong, strong, right? I was expecting that. I went to Saudi, right? When I when I got there, the brother was like, "Salamu alaikum." I was like, "Wa alaikum." Before I could finish the salam, "Wa alaikum." He was like, "Ma." I was like, what? <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> Just kiss me. I wasn't a what? I was looking like you kissing me. I hadn't been kissed like that. And he was a little shorter than me, so he kissed me on my neck. And, I was like, what? and his lips was wet. And I was looking at him like, I don't even know your name. And then I was happy 
you know, I, I was like, well, at least they like me. <laughs> but then I looked over, and he was kissing everybody. <laughs> and then some people got three kisses. <laughs> And then I got jealous. I said, well, you owe me, you owe me two more. Oh, them kisses. And it was nice, man, to experience different cultures, man. It was like, you gotta be open. And anybody ever been to China? I've been to China, let me tell you something. You gotta be open to experience different cultures. Let me tell you what happened to me. They don't, like, other places, they have a system. Like, you know in America, Daria, we have this thing. Yeah, I gotta connect, I know. Listen, they have this thing, you know, we have this thing, personal space, right? People get too close. That's like, whoa. It's an unspoken rule. I was in China. I got on the elevator, right? True story. I got on the elevator. Bling! The elevator's going. So the lady got on the next floor, and then she came. And, like, it was all of this space in the elevator. She came right up to me, like, connect. I was like, how She was too close. How am I? I was like, man. This, but I didn't want to be like, no, like, I'm allergic to you. How dare you? I didn't want to be like that. So I stood my ground. I stood there, right? And then the elevator went to the next floor, and it was a guy. And then he came and connected onto her. And I was like, oh, well, maybe they know each other. <laughs> like, I, I don't know, right? And then the elevator stopped again at the next floor. It was a lady. And she connected onto him. No, I look around. There's all of this space in the elevator. And why are we sitting here connected? I was like, oh, we're playing domino. <laughs> and I'm the number one black. <laughs> And I went outside, and they was looking like, oh. They made me feel good. It was like racism, but it was different. <laughs> it was racism with love. <laughs> because they was like, oh, the black girl. Oh, you are the black man. You want to take a, take a picture? Because they don't, they don't see black people a lot. Right? So they was like, oh, take a picture, take a picture. You know, take a picture, right? And so I was like, OK, maybe this is good. I couldn't tell if they were going to be like, look, we've seen the black one today. <laughs> I, I couldn't tell, but they started calling me random black people names. Uh, you are like a Kirby. You are like a, you are like a Kirby. You are like a Kirby. You are take a picture. And then the one guy came up and was like, you are like Rush Hour. <laughs> rush Hour, James Carter, Rush Hour. <laughs> and then I was like, well, you better hurry up, man, get your picture. Man, you gotta hurry up and do this, man. Take a picture, man. Tell your friends I'm here, man. You do this all day long. Chop. And then from then on, I had a team of Chinese people. I was living my best life. Y'all should have been there. Oh. Told you to get going. It just felt right. It just felt right. Oh, okay. Um, uh, it's haram. And the haram police are here. <laughs> when we say haram police, those are people, they've been holding in their laughter. <laughs> they've been holding their laughter in for so long. When it finally comes out, it sounds like a dead cough. They just, oh. Oh. Haram. Oh. haram. I've been feeling sorry for him. I'm like, it's okay. It's okay. It's therapeutic. Like in the Quran, Allah says that Prophet Ibrahim, he revealed Prophet Ibrahim said he's the one who made me laugh and the one who makes me cry. And I just be feeling sorry for people that just <laughs> just how they be looking. I won't laugh. <laughs> so, some people hold on to they laugh like they holding on to voodoo. <laughs> 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 Oh. Oh. <laughs> we need more white Muslims. <laughs> Sister Ann. We do. 
You guys, look, we have some black ones too. A lot of them, they scattered around. We don't have a lot of white ones. So, Sister Ann and Darby, by coming tonight, <laughs> you have just been adopted by us. A <laughs> jadu? <laughs> No, I really do, to be honest with you. You know, it was a long night. I would kept looking over there at, you know, my, my family, my aunt and Daria, they was like, whoo, man, it was a long night. <laughs> but I do, man, you guys are troopers because you came and hung out with all of these people. Like, I know you did. Did you know the cons? <laughs> yes, there's a lot of Pakistanis named cons. <laughs> And the Patels, <laughs> there's only a few of them. <laughs> like, you don't know all these people, but tell us the truth. How do you feel? Do you feel safe here? <laughs> right, do you feel safe? I, she said, of course. Look, guys, but it's not enough white people to have this Muslim experience. <laughs> she feels safe here, so guys, you're doing a good job. <laughs> This is how we are all the time. Oh, almost, almost. You see a flip <laughs> Don't worry, the autumn, I was there, and I was seeing the autumn was doing it, and he was like, and then the guy was like, and then I was like, wait, no, don't fight, don't fight. He was like, what are you talking about? We're not fighting. We just said that the lamb was better than the chicken. Sometimes that the, the ain in the language it makes it sound aggressive. I, I, but it's not. Sweet loving words. <laughs> oh man, thinking of the Arab. Oh yeah, I know. They are there. How many that? When I was so bad when I was little, I wanted to like learn in Arabic. I said I had to learn. Matter of fact, I'm telling you, as they used to hit us, you know. Yeah. I was like, oh, I don't know it. Right? You know what I'm talking about. We won't talk about that right now. It's a therapy session. But I was like, it was hard for me to learn my Arabic alphabets. Like I had to do, I had to mix my black culture in it. Right, you know how we like singing, you know, and having a little rhythm, right? So I used to do that. I used to have to do that because learning my Arabic alphabet, it wasn't my first language. So I would put two letters together, right? And I would just do the rhythm. Alif 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 I just keep repeating. And they were trying to teach me, like, you have to have the machaj. <laughs> what? Bite your tongue, put your tongue on the side. What? I was like, I don't know what you're saying. Even, I promise you, I'll be having a flashback. When that beautiful Marty Humza, where is he at? Boy, that guy, Allah bless you forever. Listen. When he was there, I promise you, I was looking at his maharaj. I was like, I can't tell, he sounds good. But I didn't see him doing no. They were telling me to do this. What the? What the? Right? They was doing that to me, and I couldn't get it right. So I was like, I would just be so what, 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 And I would do that, what, Right? I'm doing a I'm fine, I'm fine, right? And then what's the next two letters? Huh? Look, it's so bright. Half off, right? So I was in the room studying by myself. I got the I'm fine. Then I was there, I would get in trouble. Because I was there and I was like, back off, back off, back off. And the teacher came in, Haram! What are you saying? I was like, this is my Arabic alphabet. Back off, back off. I would get in trouble. I know. Uh, I would get in so much trouble. Even when my neighbors used to be like, they're not real Muslims. You know, and I told my sister when they come around, let's talk in Arabic. And she said, but well, we don't know no Arabic. 
I said, I know, but we know Fatiha. <laughs> so when they came, my sister was like, Alhamdulillah, I'm I was like, oh, what's that on my teeth? Thank you. Yes. <laughs> we all went to one at the morning. I mean, I mean, let's go. They were like, oh my God. Yeah. So, as I was saying, before we go, we need more white Muslims. <laughs> We found more white Muslims in Utah. That's <laughs> why I said, oh my God, this is where you guys are. <laughs> Sorry, I promise you. You didn't see as many white Muslims in my life. I was like, what are y'all doing here? <laughs> but it was, it was really cool. Because I have really wanted to meet the first white American Muslim Valley girl. Like in my mind, she would be like, oh my Allah. <laughs> In my mind. Like, yeah, as if. They'd be like, are you gonna come out with us? I'm sorry, I gotta get to make my fudger. <laughs> I wanted to meet her. Now I just imagine, like, what if Donald Trump. <laughs> what if Donald Trump took Shahada? Like, even we don't want him, huh? <laughs> don't say it, Donald! You'll be like, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. I should win that. We don't have. In Allah, we should win that. We should win that. I should win that. I should win that. It's gonna be great. It's amazing. Islam is amazing. I know I made a lot of mistakes. I said a lot of things. I have said a lot of you, but from now on, I'm going to show the world just how amazing this religion is. So I'm going to make sure in every airport, in every bathroom, there's a low talk. <laughs> We'd be like, really? <laughs> it's going to be great. And for all my Latino Muslims, we're going to build that wall. <laughs> We're gonna put a minaret. <laughs> and what if you can call the other one, but you're gonna be on the behind that wall? <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, that made me laugh. Because I was actually imagining him say it. Oh, <laughs> he'll be looking at all keeping that slogan. We gotta make sure not great again. <laughs> As you can see, I, I, I need a lot of du'a. Can you tell? <laughs> Somebody's got to pray for me. <laughs> yes, I mean. <laughs> okay, now can we do this again so I can actually post it? <laughs> can we do it? Hold on, let me find out. Hold on, don't say that. Is that Zabira? Zabira? Zabira. Zabira. Baba. Baba Shahid. Myself. Okay, so listen, I've been having a lot of fun. Uh, 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 have y'all been having fun in Chicago? <laughs> if you guys were me here, you were out of the loop. <laughs> loop. <laughs> Chicago, loop. I said it. <laughs> so, is my honor family here? <laughs> okay, that was really good. That was good. Um, is any more black people here? You see that? I'm holding it down by myself. All <laughs> oh, by myself. Any Latino Muslims here? No. Oh, we left them out. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank Now I'm gonna post that tomorrow. <laughs> you guys, you guys tag yourselves and we need you to follow, okay? You see the Halaliwood? Y'all like my shirt? Yeah. The Halaliwood is real. Like we are making movies to tear down these walls that will build, bring us together. You understand? So we make making beautiful stories. Uh, honestly, in all of Hollywood, you have never seen a, a story for Muslims by Muslims that everyone can enjoy, have you? 
I know, so we're doing that, man. And we're not making white people bad people. <laughs> I know, it's true. They do find themselves like you, darling. It's just like, we can't, don't mix me up there. That's what I'll be saying about my people. I'll be like, look at this, look at this. He can dance. Good. Look at him. Right? So our goal is, oh, there it is. The sound. Our goal is to tell stories so people can really get to know who Muslims really truly are. So we'll have action, we'll have comedy, we'll have cartoons. So all we need now is right now we're having meetings with Netflix. Yeah. For our first film. Um, oh. Our first film. Um, and that starred Eric Roberts. Uh, so we're having meetings with Netflix. It may go. Uh, we're happy, but what we need, because one thing that Netflix was asking us is the numbers. So if you guys are on social media, like, we only have 24,000, they were like, would, if we put this on Netflix, would the Muslims watch it? So we got to build our numbers. So I humbly ask you all, um, Baba, if you're not on Instagram, <laughs> trust me, your children are. <laughs> tell them, just tell them, go and follow Omar Regan on the Instagram. Dude, just to go follow the guy, right? And, uh, and uh, this year, I'm happy to announce we are making our next movie. Yes, ah, uh, yes. And we have we have three Hollywood actors in this movie. Um, it took a nice chunk of the budget, but it's important because we want to be all inclusive. So yes, we want to keep everything halal in our movies. Yes. And one brother was looking at me like, how can you have halal movie? <laughs> Everyone knows the best movies are haram. <laughs> but I told him, I was like, we can do it. We don't have to have, we can keep our private life, our private life. We can tell amazing stories. So, um, I'm excited that Halaliwood will take Halaliwood and put it on the main stage and the main theaters. Um, that's our goal. And we will make acting a career choice for Muslims of all ages. Yes. Our goal. We are doing it. We are doing it. So, alhamdulillah, I'm happy and excited. So, if you guys just make sure, don't forget to follow the Instagram for my autos. Yeah, I mean, uh, the Insta, all of Alright, so if you guys have fun with me, say yes! Yeah. Oh man, I'm excited! Now, I was just getting it ready for this man right here. This man, he is internationally known. He's traveled and been to India, Pakistan. Matter of fact, we'll put him everywhere all across the globe. I, I actually have a very special place in my heart. Uh, this man has been teaching me a lot, and I'm really grateful to be sharing the stage with him. So, brothers and sisters, when I when I get his name, I need everybody on this side and everybody on this side and everybody on this side to just give me a nice big cheer. Can we do that? Guys. I'm so happy. I said, keep it going.